Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This episode is about Anderson power pole connectors, and I can sense the frustration of the writer. This is Brandon Rakes, KF4RMT. He says, when I crimp Anderson power pole connectors, it bends the end up, which is bad. I'm using the Anderson Power Poles tri crimp tool. I can't seem to get the power pole crimped without the crimp tool bending the ends up. I've purchased the Anderson Power Pole starter kit off the QS Radio website. What can I do to keep the ends of the power pole ends from being bent up after crimping? Okay, uh, Brandon, let's take a look here at some of the power pole stuff. The power poles are designed, interestingly, with a little piece of metal already in them down here at the bottom. And the crimp part of the tool comes in this way, and you see the end of the crimp part, it slips over that and holds it in place. Now, if this is bent up, see how this is designed? If it's bent up, it won't grab that lip and the thing won't work. Now the parts of the a power pole connector are one black one red, one of these for each and this little thing right here gets slipped down into the middle to hold it together. A lot of people don't use this or they put a, a little uh, small wire wrap or something like that but that's the official way that it's done. Now I have cut some wire here that would go in here. This is not real thick wire. Now what I'm going to do is crimp it on here to see what happens. Here is my crimping tool. This also comes from QS Radio and it has different sets of jaws and you can change them. This is the one for the Anderson power pole connectors. Okay. So the 15 amp go in this one, the 30 amp go in this one, these are 30 amp connectors, the 75 amp go in here, and the 45 amp go in here. And then what happens is this comes down and shoves this into the connector right like that. And is far as you can and then you squeeze it and let it go. Now these wires are a little small for this connector so what I want to do is I'm going to crimp it but then before I put it into use I put a little solder right there where the wire comes through. You don't want that wire to come through very much because then it interferes with being able to insert it in here. Now the easy way there's always a hard way and an easy way. I will do it this way so up will be a little easier to see. Now we want the part that comes down in to the hole. See this like that and put it over here. This will go in here. Now I'm going to make sure that this is all the way there so that the rest of it is not being crimped. Now watch. Okay, now it holds it in there. See how that's held in there just nice. And we've got the end of the connector just outside right there. So now we take this red wire and we'll put it into the connector like that and then crimp the living daylights out of it. Now the thing's always stuck in there after I do that. Notice that you want to crimp. This goes in and hits that. This is where the seam is. Okay, we don't crimp against the flat part because that will cause the seam to come apart. We want to crimp right where that seam is. Now we can just simply pull that out and we have this thing crimped. Okay. <clears throat> now, like I said, I would go back 
and solder that little piece right there. You see it already slips in and out. But now let's compare this with this. Kind of hard to hold. What we see is they're the same. The one on the left is not pushing up. And the reason it is not pushing up is because we made sure that the entire end of this part here was completely out of the crimping tool. Okay, we're looking at the connector under the microscope here. This part here is continuous. And if you get that into the crimper, it's going to warp that part. So you always want the end where things are pulled over. The crimping tool must not go up to include these, okay? Must not go up to include those. Now, Brandon asks, uh, of course, the question that we just answered, but he says that they get bent up sometimes. That can happen. Well, if it is bent up, bend it back down until it goes in to this and locks. If it does not lock, you need to bend it down. You can pull it back out, bend it down just a little bit. And when you put it over the end here, you will actually feel and hear a small click as the thing snaps into place. Okay, so I hope that has helped uh, answer questions a lot of people have about power poles. Some people are afraid of them because they do require some expertise to put on. I've ruined quite a few, so I've got the experience to prove it. Okay, so there you have it. If you'd like to help support this channel, please do go to patreon.com slash K-E-0-O-G. That's Patreon, that's E-O-N, patreon.com slash K-E-0-O-G. And until we next meet, 73.